Okay, on 5.2, we're finding probabilities. This is using the standard normal distribution, which, by the way, has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. So you may see some problems like, for example, find the probability that z is greater than negative 1.24. We can do this on the Excel, Excel sheet, on the same sheet, z and t scores. And right at the top, we can put in our z score, uh, whatever it is. And we were told that it's negative 1.24. And we want to find the probability that it's greater than negative 1.24. So that would be the area to the right. And right here is our answer, 0 0.8925. And it actually shades that section in that we're looking at. And this is the normal distribution here. And when it says greater than, we're saying to the right. So that would be the answer to that problem. The next problem says, find the cumulative area for a z-score of negative 1.25. Well, cumulative area means the probability that somebody scores up to that point. In other words, the probability that z is less than negative 1.25. So all we would do is right here put in negative 1.25, and we would want the area to the left, which is 0 0.1056. The next problem says, what's the probability somebody scores has a z-score between negative 1.25 and 1.17? So we would just put those two values in over here on the right. The lower one, which was negative 1.25, and the upper one, which was 1.17, I believe. And we get our answer right here in this shades, that region that we're talking about. So the area is 0.7733, or the probability is a 77.33% chance. And that's assuming I typed in the numbers correctly. Negative 1.25 to 1.17, yes. OK, now number 6 and 7 is where, they, where you have to think about a little bit. On 6, it says IQ scores are normally distributed with a mean of 100. So that's the mean. The mu is 100. Standard deviation of 15. So to find the probability that a person selected random will have an IQ score less than 115. Well, you could work out the z-score here for this. This is the person's score. x is 115. The mean is 100, and the sigma is 15. Then once you figure out the z-score, use that area that we were dealing with here in this area right here. But we can also use the area right here below and put in the raw values that we know, like the person's IQ is 115, the mean is 100, and the standard deviation is 15. Then what we know is that we have a z-score of 1. And then it's the question was, what is the probability that a person selected random will have an IQ score less than 115? So we're looking to the left is what we're doing, because it said less. So to the left, the answer is 0.841345. And that's the answer to that problem. On problem. Example 7, it says monthly bills in a certain city are normally distributed with a mean of uh, 100. And it also says that their standard deviation is 12. And it says uh, find the probability that uh, the monthly bill is between 80 and 115. So uh, we would go to the Excel sheet. And instead of using this area where it's to the left or the right, on the right-hand side is between two values. So the lower x score is 80. The upper score is 115. The mean, we were told, is 100. And the standard deviation was 12. And we put those in. And our tells us our two z-scores right here. And here's our probability is an 84.65 or 84.66% chance. And that's what they're talking about when they say probabilities on this section. You just use that section of the Excel sheet. And I believe that's it with uh, this section.